All right, so, uh, as I mentioned in the video where we got the cool-looking diamond moose, I've kind of just been trying to play more in my off time, basically to hopefully find diamonds or cool animals, and I guess ultimately the goal is to be able to have to record less and therefore record real life more. But that level 4 I just spotted, I'm pretty sure is a diamond. Something else that I'm doing along the same vein is I went back to Zag Tactics, and it's just simply to be able to save myself time and be able to hunt more and hopefully bring you guys more real-life content. So that was a 274 kilo track, and I assume it's that one. So, wait a second. How many big wildebeest are in this herd? I've killed two. I've had two tracks of ones that weren't big enough. Well, one of those should be a diamond. Maybe both. I don't know now. But we will scoot down there. We'll see if we can get them. We got the 30 out six, which I should reload. And I think they're going to come back. Kind of looks like they want to. So they're finally working their way through here. I had a 267, and that means one of them is going to be diamond and one not even close. If we choose the right one, we don't have to go back for the second one. If we don't, we will. So, can you stop? Just, uh, we're going to go with the one in front. And just high lung as usual. Gives you that, uh basically free spinal cord and the thunder when they run off so hopefully we chose the right one if not we get to wait here and hopefully make the shot again did we we did 274.1 ones and 955 so nice little nice little kill basically the reason i'm still in this server i had a uh it was a 12 to 14 jackal track and the time got reset, so the tracks disappeared, and now I'm kind of just waiting. I believe I know where it drinks, and in the meantime, I left, switched to Zag Tactics, and uh, came back. So that was nice to get that as I'm waiting, but we're getting closer and closer to Jackal drink time. Alright, so I literally found this out as I'm editing this video, but apparently this clip does not have any microphone audio, so this was during Friday's Twitch stream. And when I have to record during a stream, I use a different software than I use uh, when I record normal videos. It would make the stream frame rate drop all the time. But anyway, I assume I had a Windows update, and uh, that must have reset my mic options. I don't use that software very often, so I didn't even notice. But there's going to be some good to this, because the way I'm going to try to narrate it to keep it somewhat short, I think is going to be a similar way to how I may narrate some real-life hunting content. And that is an opportunity to mention that there is going to be real life hunting content uh, on this channel and on the Meat Hunters channel. So I'll have that linked below if you want to go check it out. Uh, should be some good stuff. There's myself, TK, and Darren are all going to be bringing real life hunting content to you. I do have one deer down already, so stuff is in progress. But back to the actual hunt here. Because it is dark out, I wanted to use the new night vision equipment. I hadn't killed a diamond using that yet, and this was my first real opportunity. So we are going to have to get a little closer than we normally would need to, because the night vision scope has a max magnification of 4 power, and we pretty much have to go for a brain shot here. There's not a lot of other great options we have, so we want to make sure we get in good and close. And finally, when we do that, I didn't even realize he was there till way too late. But I guess Agensbuck chose that moment to run through me. And that knocked me out of my cover. The Cape Buffalo went alert. And he didn't really give me a shot. And of course, Diamonds tended to go this way for me. That would not be the last time that he would spook. So just moments later, when he's coming back, I try to get him to go into that alert pose so I can get like a nice, kind of guaranteed, steady brain shot. And he doesn't give it to me and runs again. So... Now I'm already significantly later into the stream than I want to be, but we finally catch up with him, and I decided this time is going to be the time. We're going to make it work. We get the alert pose this time, and we actually make the shot, so all that was worth it. We knew he was 902 kilos, so pretty much a guaranteed diamond. Uh, I guess it probably could happen. It's a really low trophy rating, but above 900 is a, a pretty good bet, and we claim him, and he's actually well into it. 961 for that guy, which is pretty good. I don't think I've ever had a diamond gray cape buffalo, at least not in the trophy lodge. So I'm quite happy to have that. Um, throwing it in the kind of 
Yukon and True Rack Lodge, or post Yukon and True Rack Lodge, at least for now. But there is some kind of speculation about Safari Lodge being what the latest hint was. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go check out Zaggy's latest video. I'll have that link below uh, as well. He kind of talks about that in a little more depth. But, yeah. We got two Verhunga Diamonds, one from a stream and one just from random multiplayer stuff. And this video is definitely shorter than it was meant to be because of narration. But like I said, maybe this is good practice kind of narrating after the fact. Because that's probably what I'm going to do for real life hunting content. So let me know uh, <laughs> what you think. Or if you think I should do that for more Call of the Wild stuff. Because there are plenty of uh, plenty of times where I could record or would want to record without my mic. Like late night or whatever. So let me know. But anyway... I think we've drugged this on long enough, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.